Says hot news, Mona Lisa shows up, nice editing. I know, like seriously, Diego has proven to be significantly better than I am at video editing. Cool, awesomely cool, brilliant language use. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, magnificent. The only Apple product I can afford right now is Apple juice. <laughs> All right, you win the best comment of the week. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap, your comments for last week. So on Monday of last week, it was all about the Apple event. I asked you what predictions you had back then for what we were going to get. We had 298 comments. Waiting to see what else they have left to remove. Oh my God, yes, definitely Apple has proven that uh, they are removing things that don't make sense. In the past, it made sense to say goodbye to floppy drives and to the, you know, to the disk drive, to the CD-ROM at some point, but uh, the headphone jack. You know, the funny part is that they bundle headphones that don't work on anything other than the iPhone, which is, I don't know. I don't know, I'm still waiting for Apple to announce their very own Apples. Ha, ha. Each refinement serves to bring absolute unity and efficiency to the design. MacBook Air or MacBook and iPad Pro. This was what I was looking forward to the most. I was surprised in the end for the Apple Watch Series 4. I like that, which is currently charging down there. Uh, but yeah, no, for me, I was looking forward to a new iPad Pro and some new iP MacBook Air. Uh, but I guess we're gonna have to wait. So on Tuesday, the whole topic was the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, which was codenamed DaVinci. And I asked you, what do you think? Why would it be codenamed DaVinci? We had 324 comments. I strongly feel that Samsung is gonna work on AI and photography. I think this is why they are still calling it DaVinci. What does DaVinci have to do with photography? That would be painting, uh, you know, and uh, engineering and a couple of other things, but there was no photography back then. That's awesome because that means price drops on the Note 9. Uh, yeah, but by the time that happens, we don't know. Da Vinci stands for it'll cost as much as the Mona Lisa painting, which is currently considered invaluable. Yes, the Galaxy Note 9 was expensive, so yeah. Then on Wednesday, it was Apple's event. Obviously, the Paganau Daily was taken over by everything that was announced. We had 574 comments discussing what we thought about the event. Tim Cook, it's the most impressive iPhone we have ever created. Definitely on iPhone terms, I'm sure. Not in smartphone terms. The only interesting thing from the keynote was the Apple Watch Series 4. Yes, definitely. I am currently working on a video and I had to discharge it fully as part of the video, so it's currently charging. I have, uh, so I, I like the Samsung Galaxy Watch. That would be my favorite watch when it comes to design. But just, oh my God, you should see the features and how fast this Apple Watch Series 4 works. Definitely really liking that watch. And rip the home button forever. Yes, I was expecting that. You could still buy the iPhone 7, which I don't recommend. Or you can buy the iPhone 8, which I do recommend. If you're still looking for a home button, it's there. It's just definitely not gonna come back for iPhones. Then on Thursday, after Apple's event, we had a Huawei CEO bragging over the fact that they had surpassed Apple in sales of smartphones. I asked you, what do you think if Huawei deserved this? We had 548 comments. Huawei will eventually get its shine in the US. They're way too good to be denied. Not only that, it's not just about phones. I mean, when it comes to Spectrum, Huawei is significant. It's, it's Spectrum business is a lot bigger than their smartphone business. So yeah, there's a lot of pull there. I think Huawei earned the spot. They've been doing good things. I have to agree as well. I can't deny that I'm really looking forward to the Mate 20 Pro. Huawei deserves because they have changed to better in a very small time. Ever since the Google Nexus 6P, I have to agree. Like ever before that, if they would be like, you know, hey, we're gonna send you a Huawei device for review, I'd be like, no. Wow, ever since the Nexus 9, then the P9, everything has changed dramatically. And honestly, I have to say, Huawei deserves the title. And then finally, on Friday, the topic was the teasers that Google sent out of what to expect at the event. There was a frame with a G logo at the bottom. I asked you, what did you think we were gonna get at the event from Google? I even speculated that there probably wasn't a notch. We had 503 comments. There's no notch because it's a photo of the back of the phones. All right, dude, I know that the Google logo is at the back and that's the reason why you think that, but that would be true 
if there would be camera lenses being shown at some point at the top of the phone. They're not being shown, so you can't speculate that that's the back of the phone either. What do I expect? A cheaper Google Pixel 2, no need to spend so much on a phone. I would love it if Google went back to the Nexus days where they stopped charging so much money for a phone as well. That would be me. You're saying we'll run out of space for camera lenses, but I think you're wrong. You can always add another notch. I mean, we love notches anyways. I'd like a phone with five, maybe six notches all around the screen. <laughs> you mean bezels? I mean, the sarcasm was very high on this one, but yeah, I know, it's, it's, God, it's a means to an end, and it's terrible. That's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you so much for watching. If you want your comments to be featured, keep them short, keep it straight to the point, and try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.